This is Virgin Radio. I'm Andy Goldstein. It's time now to welcome my first guest to the show. He was in Oasis for 10 years. You can see him on stage now alongside Noel Gallagher and his high flying birds. He's one of the coolest people on the planet and he's my pal as well. Good morning, Gem Archer. <laughs> Good morning, me old mucker. How are you, my friend? Are you good? Are you well? Thanks for doing this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm great. Well, um, yeah, I just have to keep telling myself I'm not talking to you when you're walking the dog at half seven in the morning. Yes. Whatever. So yes. we're not doing that, are we? No, no. I'm good, man. And what was the first question, two questions I asked you when you asked me to come on? Uh, you, what, what was your reply to me? Yeah. Uh, I can't really say the on national radio, can I? Well, didn't I say who's dropped out and how much oh, yeah. are they getting? Yeah. And then I said no one gets any money, including the presenter. <sighs> okay. And, and then I said, you were my first choice, but I just thought... Would you? Do, I always hate asking my mates to do stuff, and then my missus was like, "Just ask him, you know, get him. Just ask him." And I was like, "Okay." And then this morning, I was like, "Get me, you're awake yet? You're awake? Can you come on the show?" And you have, so I really appreciate that, mate. It's well, I am, I'm a little bit crispy because we were out last night watching a mate of ours gig, and also weirdly, I'm going on a proper radio show with twelve o'clock. <laughs> Boogaloo Radio, Andy Hackett, okay. twelve o'clock till two. Okay. Um, so you know, let's. And also, I've got to get the roasties in before I go see. All right, we'll talk roasties in a minute, all right? Well, prepped, oh, do well we have prepped. to? Okay. In a minute. Right. Firstly, listen, right, I, I want to say, and I last saw you on, I think it was Thursday night, the Royal Albert Hall. A brilliant yeah. gig, all for teenage cancer. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, the calls in just a moment. But I have to say, I've been to, I've been lucky enough, you've invited me to a lot of your gigs. The atmosphere, I thought, in there was unbelievable. On stage, did you feel as though it was a little bit special that night? Yeah. Honestly, absolutely. You know what? I've got this is weird. I've got goosebumps now. It's a great gig, but it's it's unique that place. It's it's intimate, isn't it? And you know, you are kind of like you, it's just all right. We say we did Wembley Arena before Christmas, mm-hmm. much bigger gig and all that. But the atmosphere on Thursday was much bigger. Um, Weller texted Noel just saying it's the best he'd seen us. And you know, and a, and a lot. Of it, it, it was just one of those nights. And uh, yeah, man. I mean, and as we know, everybody's done the Albert Hall. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. You know, Muhammad Ali's done it twice, Mister Sports. Has he really? He has. I think you know, he's fought it twice. Do you know? What's, maybe three times. Do you know? What's, and, um, sorry, yeah, go on. Go, no, no, go on. Carry on. No, just it, 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 like you've seen all the photos and all that stuff that's been there and all the exhibitions. But Albert Einstein's done the Albert Hall. <laughs> Winston you know? Churchill's yeah. done the Albert Hall. I'm you, telling you. How do you know this? Have you just literally just been on Google before you came on? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> you can't, I mean, they didn't all fight each other. No. <laughs> That, I would have paid good money to see that. I, you know what? I, I think I told you this after the show, actually. I Googled what the um, attendance is there, you, yeah, the yeah, capacity, yeah. which I was really surprised about. It's just over 5,000, right? Well, but, it, 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 it fluctuates, doesn't it? Because it depends, depends who you Google. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. I think, it, I think it's three and a half to five. But, you know, it depends if there's any elephants in that in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and also and when when we did it, there was no seats um, on Thursday. Well, there was seats, but there wasn't on the floor. No, you know. What but I mean? what, what I was going to say was, you've done much bigger venues. But when when I was leaving, I left a lot later on. Come see you afterwards, and then I, and then I saw the doors open to get on the stage. So I went on stage and had a couple of pictures. I know I've seen but, the photo. <laughs> but, but I was I was in awe of how big it is. Does it feel like it's a giant venue bigger than the five thousand suggests? Hmm. <laughs> No, it, it it just seems, it, like I say, it just feels intimate. I think it's because it's, it's, you're in a, I don't know what the, you're in a bubble in a way and everybody's involved. And I was speaking to somebody last night because we did the hydro in Glasgow before Christmas. And I was chatting with Kevin Bridges, the comedian, who I think he's done 29 nights on the bounce. Wow. But it's one of them venues, I was saying to me, mate, yeah, it's like a concert hall, but the size of an arena. Right. If you, like, you know what it's like with stadiums and football now and everything. There's an art to making these places special. Yeah. There's also an art. <clears throat> how about that for a segue? Yeah. To making, oh, yeah. to making the Slick. perfect, thank you, to making the perfect roast potato. Now, yesterday, Tom Grennan said, surprised a lot of people, by um, telling us that he put Marmite 
Marmite on them or rolled them in Marmite and then cooked them. And I was like, like, do you taste the Marmite? And it's like, sometimes I make, I pride myself on making great roasters. What's your roast potato? Because it's Sunday, people are listening to this. They'll be off to the pub soon or they'll be making roast potatoes. <laughs> like, what, what, uh, what are your roast potatoes like, Em? Uh, they're like everybody's. They vary. And every time you have a first bite, you decide what you're going to change next time. Oh, I see. What do you, you're yeah. a veggie, right? So what, what do you cook them in? Oh, um, olive oil. Olive yeah. oil, okay. Proper olive oil. Oh, yeah, all this beef, fat, dripping, yeah, yeah goose, <laughs> for the gander and don't swear on the radio kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So hold on. So when you come out of mine and I've made you roast potatoes, I definitely haven't cooked them in duck fat, okay? You've never cooked no. me anything. No, ever. 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 You've never even made me a cup of coffee. Of you course. press a button. <laughs> well, what more do you want, all right? With my fingers at the moment broken, that's not easy. Um, Gem, listen, thank you again for coming on. Um, I know I drive you mad sometimes, but I love you and I really appreciate your time. Before I let you go, we're going to play an Oasis track now. Ooh. If you could choose one, if you could say, actually, can you play my favourite, what would that well, I've got one in front of me, so I can't change it, but what would that one be? It's that question, isn't it, like, that I'm thinking when I go on the, on a proper radio show at 12, like the Boogaloo radio. Yes, I know, You yes. don't want to play songs Get that everybody's heard a million times. Okay, see? what would but it I be? Would, off the top of my head, hey, and this is not a slick link, because I'm not after your job, but I'd say listen up. Okay, well, it's not that one. Uh, but <laughs> if I was going to ask you to name one where you shouldn't look back in anger, what one would it be? Is this Chris Tarrant or somebody? What? How much do we, uh, what, 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 what? What's he up to? Just say yes, it is, and then I can press the button again. Yeah, you're playing that one, are you? Yeah. Yes. I love you. I'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye. Okay. Bye. Virgin Radio.